Hi, welcome to this episode of The Daily. My name is Brendan Malone. Well, a couple of weeks ago, US blogger Rachel Held Evans published a lengthy blog post in which she tried to claim that voting for Hillary Clinton uh, was the pro-life thing to do. I, I don't really want to go into all of the details because there's a lot of factual inaccuracies and flawed arguments that she uses. Um, in a future episode, I'm going to address one particular claim that she makes that is quite central. Um, but for now, I just want to look at the, I guess, the overarching reasoning that she's using to try and justify this claim that voting for Hillary is actually a pro-life vote. She's trying to use what is often called the seamless garment or the consistent ethic of life principle. And it's this idea that if you're going to be pro-life, you should be consistently pro-life, not just before birth, but after birth as well. Now, in other words, you should, if you care about human dignity, if you care about the right to life, you should care about the right to life and, and the right to life for all human persons, not just those who are unborn, but you know people who might die in wars, uh, people who might die because of a lack of good health care, uh, people who might die uh, because of, I don't know, capital punishment, et cetera, et cetera. The problem is, though, that it's not consistent. What she's trying to do is say, well, those events that happen after birth where Hillary has good policies on, those good policies cancel out this gravely unjust and evil violation of human rights that she supports. And here's where it gets really problematic. Because Hillary Clinton doesn't just support abortion. A lot of people support abortion. Hillary Clinton wants to expand abortion. She is backed by Planned Parenthood. The president of Planned Parenthood sat beside her husband as Hillary delivered her speech at the DNC. There is talk now that the uh, Democrats want to repeal the Hyde Amendment, which outlaws federal funding uh, being used for abortions. So you'd have taxpayer funding of abortions under Hillary. And there's other things as well that they want to expand. They have removed the word rare from their former safe, legal and rare philosophy about abortion. It's now just safe and legal. They don't care how often it happens. Hillary is not just pro-choice. Hillary is pro-abortion expansion. It is absolutely absurd to say that you are applying a consistent ethic of life by ignoring that fact. The whole point about the consistent ethic of life is, is that it is supposed to be consistent. If you're going to apply it after a person is born, you must also apply it before. You can't say what happens after a person is born cancels out what's happening to them before birth. The whole absurdity of her argument really becomes quite glaring and stark if you think about other issues. Pretend this wasn't abortion she was talking about. Pretend this was human trafficking. Pretend that Hillary Clinton was pro-human trafficking and that she was pro federal funding being used to actually pay for human trafficking and that she was being endorsed by the largest provider of for-profit human trafficking in America. Would we be saying, oh, no, 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 don't worry. She's got some other policies that affect people after they've been born, uh, which are likely to lessen the chance of human trafficking taking place. So that, that's all good, right? the fact that she supports and wants to expand human trafficking, we can just turn a blind eye to that. No, that is not a consistent ethic of life. Imagine if Hillary Clinton was pro-choice on rape. And someone was trying to tell you, but don't worry, Hillary Clinton is promoting anti-rape education programs, and she is promoting better street lighting, and she's promoting all these initiatives that are going to reduce the need for men to rape women. So it's okay. She's really the anti-rape candidate when you think about it. No one would buy that for a second. So don't buy it when someone like Rachel Held Evans tries to tell you that a candidate who wants to expand abortion is somehow now a good pro-life candidate to vote for. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily.